Adele Laurie Blue Adkins is an English singer-songwriter. After graduating from the Brit School for Performing Arts and Technology in 2006, Adele was given a recording contract by XL Recordings after a friend posted her demo on MySpace the same year. In 2007, she received the Brit Awards Critics' Choice Award and won the BBC Sound of 2008 poll. Her debut album, 19 was released in 2008 to commercial and critical success. It is certified seven times platinum in the UK, and three times platinum in the US. An appearance she made on Saturday Night Live in late 2008 boosted her career in the US. At the 51st Grammy Awards in 2009, Adele received the awards for Best New Artist and Best Female Pop Vocal Performance. Adele released her second studio album, 21 in early 2011. The album was well received critically and surpassed the success of her debut, earning the singer numerous awards in 2012, among them a record tying six Grammy Awards, including Album of the Year, two Brit Awards, including British Album of the Year, and three American Music Awards. The album has been certified 16 times platinum in the UK, and is the fourth best selling album in the UK of all time. In the US, it has held the top position longer than any album since 1985, and is certified diamond. The album has sold over 31 million copies worldwide. The success of 21 earned Adele numerous mentions in the Guinness Book of World Records. She is the first woman in the history of the Billboard Hot 100 to have three simultaneous top 10 singles as a lead artist and the first female artist to simultaneously have two albums in the top five of the Billboard 200 and two singles in the top five of the Billboard Hot 100. 21 is the longest-running number one album by a female solo artist in the history of the UK and US album charts. In 2012, she released Skyfall, which she wrote and recorded for the James Bond film of the same name. The song won an Academy Award, a Grammy Award, and a Golden Globe Award for Best Original Song, as well as the Brit Award for British Single of the Year. After taking a three-year break, Adele released her third studio album, 25 in 2015. It became the year's best-selling album and broke first-week sales records in the UK and US. 25 was her second album to be certified diamond in the US and earned her five Grammy Awards, including her second Grammy Award for Album of the Year. The lead single, Hello, became the first song in the US to sell over 1 million digital copies within a week of its release. Her third concert tour, Adele Live 2016, visited Europe, North America and Oceania, and will conclude with four finale concerts at Wembley Stadium in mid-2017. In 2011, 2012 and 2016, Billboard named Adele Artist of the Year. In 2012, she was listed at number 5 on VH1's 100 Greatest Women in Music. Time magazine named her one of the most influential people in the world in 2012 and 2016. With sales of more than 100 million records, Adele is one of the best selling recording artists in the world. Early Life Adele Laurie Blue Adkins was born on May 5, 1988, in Tottenham, London to an English mother, Penny Adkins, and a Welsh father, Mark Evans. Evans left when Adele was two, leaving her mother to raise her. She began singing at age four and asserts that she became obsessed with voices. Growing up, Adele spent most of her time singing rather than reading, the last book she read was Roald Dahl's Matilda when she was six years old. In 1997, at the age of nine, Adele and her mother, who by then had found work as a furniture maker and an adult learning activities organizer, relocated to Brighton on the south coast of England. In 1999, two years later, she and her mother moved back to London, first to Brixton, and then to neighbouring district West Norwood, in South London. West Norwood is the subject of Adele's first record, Hometown Glory, which she wrote and composed in 2004, when she was 16. Adele graduated from the Brit School for Performing Arts and Technology in Croydon in May 2006, where she was a classmate of Leona Lewis and Jesse J. Adele credits the school with nurturing her talent even though, at the time, she was more interested in going into Andar and hoped to launch other people's careers. Career 
2006-2010, Beginnings and 19. Four months after graduation, she published two songs on the fourth issue of the online arts publication PlatformsMagazine.com. She had recorded a three-song demo for a class project and given it to a friend. The friend posted the demo on MySpace, where it became very successful and led to a phone call from Richard Russell, boss of the music label XL Recordings. She doubted if the offer was real because the only record company she knew was Virgin Records, and she took a friend with her to the meeting. Nick Huggett at XL, recommended Adele to manager Jonathan Dickens at September Management, and in June 2006, Dickens became her official representative. September was managing Jamie T at the time and this proved a major draw for Adele, a big fan of the British singer-songwriter. Huggett then signed Adele to XL in September 2006. Adele provided vocals for Jack Panate's song, My Yvonne, for his debut album, and it was during this session she first met producer Jim Abbas, who would go on to produce both the majority of her debut album, 19, and tracks on 21. In June 2007, Adele made her television debut, performing Daydreamer on the BBC's Later, with Jules Holland. Adele's breakthrough song, Hometown Glory, was released in October 2007. By 2008, Adele had become the headliner and performed an acoustic set, in which she was supported by Damien Rice. She became the first recipient of the Brit Awards Critics' Choice and was named the number one predicted breakthrough act of 2008 in an annual BBC poll of music critics, Sound of 2008. The album 19, named for her age at the time she wrote and composed many of its songs, entered the British charts at number one. The Times Encyclopedia of Modern Music named 19 an essential blue-eyed soul recording. She released her second single, Chasing Pavements, on January 14, 2008, two weeks ahead of her debut album, 19. The song reached number two on the UK chart, and stayed there for four weeks. Adele was nominated for a 2008 Mercury Prize Award for 19. She also won an Urban Music Award for Best Jazz Act. She also received a Q Awards nomination in the category of Breakthrough Act and a Music of Black Origin nomination in the category of Best UK Female. In March 2008, Adele signed a deal with Columbia Records and XL Recordings for her foray into the United States. She embarked on a short North American tour in the same month and 19 was released in the US in June Billboard magazine stated of it. Adele truly has potential to become among the most respected and inspiring international artists of her generation. The An Evening with Adele World Tour began in May 2008 and ended in June 2009. She later cancelled the 2008 US tour dates to be with a former boyfriend. She said in Nylon Magazine in June 2009, I'm like, I can't believe I did that. It seems so ungrateful. I was drinking far too much and that was kind of the basis of my relationship with this boy. I couldn't bear to be without him, so I was like, well, I'll just cancel my stuff then. She referred to this period as her early life crisis. She is also known for her dislike of flying and bouts of homesickness when away from her native London. By the middle of October 2008, Adele's attempt to break in America appeared to have failed. But then she was booked as the musical guest on October 18, 2008 episode of NBC's Saturday Night Live The Episode, which included an expected appearance by then-U.S. vice presidential candidate Sarah Palin, earned the program its best ratings in 14 years with 17 and nbsp, million viewers. Adele performed Chasing Pavements and Cold Shoulder, and the following day, 19 topped the iTunes charts and ranked at number 5 at Amazon.com while Chasing Pavements rose into the top 25. The album reached number 11 on the Billboard 200 as a result, a jump of 35 places over the previous week. In November 2008 Adele moved to Notting Hill, London after leaving her mother's house, a move that prompted her to give up drinking. The album was certified gold in February 2009 by the RIAA. By July 2009, the album had sold 2.2 and nbsp, million copies worldwide. At the 51st Annual Grammy Awards in February 2009, Adele received the award for Best New Artist, 
in addition to the award for Best Female Pop Vocal Performance for Chasing Pavements, which was also nominated for Record of the Year and Song of the Year. Adele performed Chasing Pavements at the ceremony in a duet with Jennifer Nettles. In 2010, Adele received a Grammy nomination for Best Female Pop Vocal Performance for Hometown Glory. In April her song My Same entered the German singles chart after it had been performed by Lena Meyer Landrut in the talent show contest Unser Star für Oslo, or Our Star für Oslo, in which the German entry to the Eurovision Song Contest 2010 was determined. In late September, after being featured on The X Factor, Adele's version of Bob Dylan's Make You Feel My Love re-entered the UK singles chart at number 4. During the 2010 CMT Artists of the Year special, Adele performed a widely publicised duet of Lady Antebellum Sneed You Now with Darius Rucker. This performance was later nominated for a CMT Music Award. 2011-2014 21 Worldwide Recognition and Hiatus Adele released her second studio album, 21, on January 24, 2011 in the UK and February 22 in the US. She said that the album was inspired by the breakup with her former partner. The album's sound is described as classic and contemporary country and roots music. The change in sound from her first album was the result of her bus driver playing contemporary music from Nashville when she was touring the American South, and the title reflected the growth she had experienced in the prior two years. Adele told Spin Magazine It was really exciting for me because I never grew up around that music. 21 hit number one in more than 26 countries, including the UK and the US. An emotional performance of Someone Like You at the 2011 Brit Awards on February 15 propelled the song to number one in the UK. Her first album, 19, re-entered the UK album chart alongside 21, while first and second singles Rolling in the Deep and Someone Like You were in the top five of the UK singles chart, making Adele the first living artist to achieve the feat of two top five hits in both the official singles chart and the official albums chart simultaneously since the Beatles in 1964. Both songs topped the charts in multiple markets and broke numerous sales performance records. Following her performance of Someone Like You at the 2011 MTV Video Music Awards, it became Adele's second number one single on the Billboard Hot 100. By December 2011, 21 sold over 3.4 and psp, million copies in the UK, and became the biggest selling album of the 21st century, overtaking Amy Winehouse's Back to Black, with Adele becoming the first artist ever to sell 3 million albums in the UK in one calendar year. Set Fire to the Rain became Adele's third number one single on the Billboard Hot 100, as Adele became the first artist ever to have an album, 21 hold the number one position on the Billboard 200 concurrently with three number one singles. To promote the album, Adele embarked upon the Adele Live Tour, which sold out its North American leg. In October 2011, Adele was forced to cancel two tours because of a vocal cord hemorrhage. She released a statement saying she needed an extended period of rest to avoid permanent damage to her voice. In the first week of November 2011 Stephen M. Zeitels, director of the Center for Laryngeal Surgery and Voice Rehabilitation at the Massachusetts General Hospital in Boston, performed laser microsurgery on Adele's vocal cords to remove a benign polyp. A recording of her tour, Live at the Royal Albert Hall, was released in November 2011, debuting at number one in the U.S. with 96,000 copies sold the highest one-week tally for a music DVD in four years, becoming the best-selling music DVD of 2011. Adele is the first artist in Nielsen Soundskin history to have the year's number one album, 21 number one single, Rolling in the Deep, and number one music video. At the 2011 American Music Awards on November 20, Adele won three awards, Favorite Pop-slash-Rock Female Artist, Favorite Adult Contemporary Artist, and favorite pop-slash-rock album for 21. On December 9, Billboard named Adele Artist of the Year, Billboard 200 Album of the Year, 21 and the Billboard Hot 100 Song of the Year, Rolling in the Deep, becoming the first woman ever to top all three categories. Following the throat microsurgery, 
she made her live comeback at the 2012 Grammy Awards in February. She won in all six categories for which she was nominated, making her the second female artist in Grammy history, after Beyoncé, to win that many categories in a single night. Following that success, 21 achieved the biggest weekly sales increase following a Grammy win since Nielsen Soundscan began tracking data in 1991. Adele received the Brit Award for Best British Female Solo Artist, and British Album of the Year presented to her by George Michael. Following the Brit Awards, 21 reached number one for the 21st non-consecutive week in the UK. The album has sold over 4.5 and nbsp million copies in the UK where it is the fourth best-selling album of all time. In October, the album's sales surpassed 4.5 and nbsp million in the UK, and in November 10 million in the US. As of 2014, the album has sold 30 million copies worldwide. She has sold an estimated 40 million albums and 50 and nbsp million singles worldwide. Adele is the only artist or band in the last decade in the U.S. to earn an RIAA Diamond certification for a one-disc album in less than two years. In October 2012, Adele confirmed that she had been writing, composing and recording the theme song for Skyfall, the 23rd James Bond film. The song Skyfall, written and composed in collaboration with producer Paul Epworth, was recorded at Abbey Road Studios and features orchestrations by J.A.C. Redford. Adele stated recording Skyfall was one of the proudest moments of my life. On October 14, Skyfall rose to number two on the UK singles chart with sales of 92,000 copies bringing its overall sales to 176,000, and Skyfall entered the Billboard Hot 100 at number eight, selling 261,000 copies in the US in its first three days. This tied Skyfall with Duran Duran Save You to a Kill as the highest charting James Bond theme song on the UK singles chart, a record surpassed in 2015 by Sam Smith's writings on the wall. Skyfall has sold more than 2 million copies worldwide and earned Adele the Golden Globe Award for Best Original Song and the Academy Award for Best Original Song. In December 2012, Adele was named Billboard Artist of the Year, and 21 was named Album of the Year making her the first artist to receive both accolades two years in a row. Adele was also named top female artist. The Associated Press named Adele Entertainer of the Year for 2012. The 2013 Grammy Awards saw Adele's live version of Set Fire to the Rain win the Grammy Award for Best Pop Solo Performance, bringing her total wins to nine. On April 3, 2012, Adele confirmed that her third album would likely be at least two years away, stating, I have to take time and live a little bit. There were a good two years between my first and second albums, so it'll be the same this time. She stated that she would continue writing and composing her own material. At the 2013 Grammy Awards, she confirmed that she was in the very early stages of her third album. She also stated that she will most likely work with Paul Epworth again. In September 2013, Wiz Khalifa confirmed that he and Adele had collaborated on a song for his upcoming fifth studio album, Black Hollywood, though the collaboration did not make the final track listing. In January 2014, Adele received her 10th Grammy Award with Skyfall winning Best Song Written for Visual Media at the 56th Annual Grammy Awards. On the eve of her 26th birthday in May 2014, Adele posted a cryptic message via her Twitter account which prompted media discussion about her next album. The message, Bye Bye 25. See you again later in the year, was interpreted by some in the media, including the Daily Mail and Capital FM, as meaning that her next album would be titled 25 and released later in the year. In 2014, Adele was nominated for nine World Music Awards. In early August, Paul Moss suggested that an album would be released in 2014 or 2015. However, in the October 2014 accounts filed with Companies House by XL Recordings, they ruled out a 2014 release. 2015 present, 25 and Adele Live 2016. On August 27, 2015, Billboard reported that Adele's label, XL Recordings, 
had intentions of releasing her third studio album sometime in November 2015. Danger Mouse has contributed a song, while Tobias Gesso Jr. has written a track, and Ryan Tedder is back in the mix after producing and CEO writing Rumor Has It on 21. At the 72nd Venice International Film Festival in early September 2015, SIA announced that her new single Alive was CEO written by Adele, and had originally been intended for Adele's third album. On October 18, a 30 second clip of new material from Adele was shown on UK television during a commercial break on The X Factor. The commercial teases a snippet from a new song from her third album, with viewers hearing a voice singing accompanied by lyrics on a black screen. In a statement released three days later, she confirmed that the album is titled 25 with Adele, stating, My last record was a breakup record, and if I had to label this one, I would call it a makeup record. Making up for lost time. Making up for everything I ever did and never did. 25 is about getting to know who I've become without realizing. And I'm sorry it took so long but, you know, life happened. Adele also believes 25 will be her last album with her age as its title, believing that 25 would be the end to a trilogy. On October 22, Adele confirmed that 25 would be released on November 20 while the lead single from the album, Hello would be released on October 23. The song was first played on Nick Grimshaw's Radio 1 breakfast show on the BBC on the morning of October 23 with Adele interviewed Liv. The video of Hello, released on October 22, was viewed over 27.7 and psp, million times on YouTube in its first 24 hours, breaking the Vivo record for the most views in a day, surpassing the 20.1 and psp, Million Views for Bad Blood by Taylor Swift On October 28, news outlets, including BBC News, reported that Hello was being viewed on YouTube an average 1 million times an hour. Hello went on to become the fastest video to hit 1 billion views on YouTube, which it achieved after 88 days. The song debuted at number one in the UK singles chart on October 30, with first week sales of 330,000 copies making it the biggest-selling number one single in three years. Hello also debuted at number one in many countries around the world, including Australia, France, Canada, New Zealand, Ireland, and Germany, and on November 2, the song debuted at number one on the Billboard Hot 100, becoming the first song in the US to sell at least 1 million downloads in a week, setting the record at 1.11 and psp, million. By the end of 2015, it had sold 12.3 million units globally and was the year's seventh best-selling single. On October 27, BBC One announced plans for Adele at the BBC, a one-hour special presented by Graham Norton, in which Adele talks about her new album and performs new songs. This was her first television appearance since performing at the 2013 Academy Awards ceremony, and the show was recorded before a live audience on November 2 for broadcast on November 20 coinciding with the release of 25. On October 27 it was also announced that the singer would make an appearance on the U.S. entertainment series Saturday Night Live on November 21. On October 30, Adele confirmed that she would be performing a one-night-only concert titled Adele Live in New York City at the Radio City Music Hall on November 17. Subsequently, NBC aired the concert special on December 14. On November 27, 25 debuted at number one on the UK Albums Chart and became the fastest-selling album in UK chart history with over 800,000 copies sold in its first week. The album debuted at number one in the US where it sold a record-breaking 3.38 million copies in its first week, the largest single sales week for an album since Nielsen began monitoring sales in 1991. 25 also broke first week sales records in Canada and New Zealand. 25 became the best selling album of 2015 in a number of countries, including Australia, the UK, and the US, where it spent seven consecutive weeks at number one in each country, before being displaced by David Bowie's Black Star. It was the year's best selling album worldwide with 17.4 million copies sold in 2015 alone and has since sold 20 million copies globally.
Adele's seven weeks at the top of the UK albums chart took her total to 31 weeks at number one in the UK with her three albums, surpassing Madonna's previous record of most weeks at number one for a female act ever in the UK. In November 2015, Adele's 2016 tour was announced, her first tour since 2011. Beginning in Europe, Adele Live 2016 included four dates at the Manchester Arena in March 2016, eight dates at the O2 Arena, London, with further dates in Ireland, Spain, Germany, Italy and the Netherlands among others. Her North American tour began in July, with the opening concert in St. Paul, Minnesota on July 5. At the 2016 Brit Awards in London on February 24, Adele received the awards for British Female Solo Artist, British Album of the Year for 25 British Single of the Year for Hello, and British Global Success, bringing her Brit Award wins to eight. She closed the ceremony by performing When We Were Young, the second single from 25.2 more singles from 25 were released in 2016, Send My Love, To Your New Lover, and Water Under the Bridge. While on stage at London's O2 Arena on March 17, Adele announced that she would be headlining on the Pyramid stage at the 2016 Glastonbury Festival, which was later confirmed by the festival's organizers. She appeared for a 90-minute 15-song set at the festival on June 25, and described the experience as, by far, the best moment of my life so far. As part of her world tour, in February and March 2017, Adele will perform in Australia for the first time, playing outdoor stadiums around the country. Adele will complete her world tour with four concerts, dubbed the finale, at Wembley Stadium, London on 28, June 29 and 1, July 2, 2017. She announced the shows at the home of football by singing the England football team's Three Lions anthem and also the theme song to the BBC's weekly Premier League football show Match of the Day. She added the June 28 and July 2 dates after the first two dates sold out. At the end of 2016, Billboard named Adele Artist of the Year for the third time, with the top Billboard 200 album. 25 was the best selling album for a second consecutive year in the US. With 140 million views Adele's carpool karaoke through the streets of London with James Corden, a sketch which featured on Corden's talk show The Late Late Show with James Corden in January 2016, was the biggest YouTube viral video of 2016. At the 59th Annual Grammy Awards, Adele won all five of her nominations, bringing her to 15. She won awards for Album of the Year and Best Pop Vocal Album for 25 and Record of the Year. Song of the Year and Best Pop Solo Performance for Hello. She also performed a tribute to the late George Michael singing the rendition of his song Fast Love, due to technical difficulties which occurred during the performance Adele decided to stop and restart, explaining I can't mess this up for him. Artistry Influences and Favorite Musicians Adele has cited the Spice Girls as a major influence in regard to her love and passion for music stating that they made me what I am today. Adele impersonated the Spice Girls at dinner parties as a young girl. She stated she was left heartbroken when her favorite Spice Girl, Jerry Halliwell aka Ginger Spice, left the group. She has also stated that growing up, she listened to Sinead O'Connor, The Cure, Dusty Springfield, Celine Dion, and Annie Lennox. One of Adele's earliest influences was Gabrielle who Adele has admired since the age of five. During Adele's school years, her mother made her an eye patch with sequins which she used to perform as the Hackney Born star in a school talent contest. After moving to South London, she became interested in Rand B artists such as Aaliyah, Destiny's Child, and Mary J. Bleach. Adele says that one of the most defining moments in her life was when she watched Pink perform at Brixton Academy in London. She states, it was the Misundestood record, so I was about 13 or 14. I had never heard, being in the room, someone sing like that live, I remember sort of feeling like I was in a wind tunnel, her voice just hitting me. It was incredible. In 2002, aged 14, Adele discovered Etta James and Ella Fitzgerald as she stumbled on the artist's CDs in the jazz section of her local music store. 
she was struck by their appearance on the album covers. Adele states she then started listening to Etta James every night for an hour, and in the process was getting to know my own voice. Adele credits Amy Winehouse and her 2003 album Frank for inspiring her to take up the guitar, stating, If it wasn't for Amy and Frank, 100% I wouldn't have picked up a guitar, I wouldn't have written Daydreamer or Hometown Glory and I wrote Someone Like You on the guitar too. She also states that her mother, who is very close to her, exposed her to the music of Aaliyah, Lauren Hill, Mary J. Bleach, and Alicia Keys all of whom inspired her as well. She is also a fan of Lana Del Rey, Grimes, Churches, FKA Twigs, Alabama Shakes, Kanye West, Rihanna, Frank Ocean, Stevie Nicks, and Beyonce. In 2017, she described Beyonce as a particular inspiration, calling her album Lemonade so monumental. She said Beyoncé was my artist of my life and added the other artists who mean that much to me are all dead. Adele cited Madonna's album Ray of Light as a chief inspiration behind her album 25. Musical Style and Vocals Adele's first album, 19 is of the soul genre, with lyrics describing heartbreak and relationship. Her success occurred simultaneously with several other British female soul singers with the British press dubbing her a new Amy Winehouse. This was described as a third British musical invasion of the US. However, Adele called the comparisons between her and other female soul singers lazy, noting we're a gender, not a genre. LL Music wrote that Adele is simply too magical to compare her to anyone. Her second album, 21 shares the folk and soul influences of her debut album, but was further inspired by the American country and southern blues music to which she had been exposed during her 2008-09 North American tour An Evening with Adele. Composed in the aftermath of the singer's separation from her partner, the album typifies the near-dormant tradition of the confessional singer-songwriter in its exploration of heartbreak, self-examination, and forgiveness. Having referred to 21 as a breakup record, Adele labeled her third studio album, 25A Makeup Record, adding it was about making up for lost time. Making up for everything I ever did and never did. Her yearning for her old self, her nostalgia and melancholy about the passage of time, is a feature of 25 with Adele stating, I've had a lot of regrets since I turned 25. And sadness hits me in different ways than it used to. There's a lot of things I don't think I'll ever get round to doing. Adele possesses a contralto vocal range. Rolling Stone reported that following throat surgery her voice had become palpably bigger and purer toned, and that she had added a further four notes to the top of her range. Initially, critics suggested that her vocals were more developed and intriguing than her songwriter, a sentiment with which Adele agreed. She has stated, I taught myself how to sing by listening to Ella Fitzgerald for acrobatics and scales. Etta James for Passion and Roberta Flack for Control. Her voice has received acclaim from critics. In a review of 19 The Observer said, the way she stretched the vowels, her wonderful soulful phrasing, the sheer unadulterated pleasure of her voice, stood out all the more, little doubt that she's a rare singer. BBC Music wrote, her melodies exude warmth, her singing is occasionally stunning and, she has tracks that make Lily Allen and Kate Nash sound every bit as ordinary as they are. For their reviews of 21 the New York Times chief music critic John Perels commended the singer's emotive timbre, comparing her to Dusty Springfield, Petula Clark and Annie Lennox, Adele Can Seethe, Sob, Rasp, Swoop, Lilt and Belt, in ways that draw more attention to the song than to the singer. Ryan Reed of Paste magazine regarded her voice as a raspy, aged beyond its years thing of full-blooded beauty, while MSN Music's Tom Townsend declared her the finest singer of our generation. Personal Life and Other Ventures It was reported in January 2012 that Adele had been dating charity entrepreneur and old Etonian Simon Konecki since the summer of 2011. In June 2012, Adele announced that she and Konecki were expecting a baby. Their son was born on October 19, 2012. On the topic of becoming a parent, Adele has since observed that she felt like she was truly living. I had a purpose, where before I didn't. 
Adele and Konecki brought a privacy case against a UK-based photo agency that published paparazzi images of their son taken during family outings in 2013. Lawyers working on their behalf accepted damages from the company in July 2014. In early 2017, tabloids started speculating that Adele and Konecki had secretly got married when they were spotted wearing matching rings on their ring fingers. During her acceptance speech at the 59th Annual Grammy Awards for Album of the Year, Adele confirmed their marriage by calling Konecki her husband when thanking him. Born in Tottenham, North London, and raised in West Norwood, South London, Adele has a working-class London accent that Rolling Stone magazine says has only softened slightly over the years. Politically she is a supporter of the Labour Party, stating in 2011 that she was a Labour girl through and through. In May 2011, she advocated a lower tax rate for high-income earners, a view counter to that of the Labour Party. In 2015, Adele stated I'm a feminist, I believe that everyone should be treated the same, including race and sexuality. She is regarded as an icon for the LGBT community. On June 12, 2016 an emotional Adele dedicated her show in Antwerp. Belgium to the victims of the mass shooting at a gay nightclub in Orlando, Florida, earlier that day, adding the LGBTQ community, they're like my soul mates since I was really young, so I'm very moved by it. Philanthropy Adele has performed in numerous charity concerts throughout her career. In 2007 and 2008 she performed at the Little Noise sessions held at London's Union Chapel with proceeds from the concerts donated to MenCap which works with people with learning disabilities. In July and November 2008, Adele performed at the Keep a Child Alive Black Ball in London and New York City respectively. On September 17, 2009 she performed at the Brooklyn Academy of Music, for the VH1 Divas event, a concert to raise money for the Save the Music Foundation charity. On December 6, Adele opened with a 40-minute set at John Mayer's second annual holiday charity review held at the Nokia Theatre in Los Angeles. In 2011, Adele gave a free concert for Pride London, a registered charity which arranges LGBT events in London. Adele has been a major contributor to Moosey Cares, a charity organization founded by the National Academy of Recording Arts and Sciences for Musicians in Need. In February 2009, Adele performed at the 2009 Moosey Cares Charity Concert in Los Angeles. In 2011 and 2012, Adele donated autographed items for auctions to support Moosey Cares. When on tour, Adele requires all backstage visitors to donate a minimum charitable contribution of US$20 for the UK Charity Sands, an organization dedicated to supporting anyone affected by the death of a baby and promoting research to reduce the loss of babies' lives. During the UK and European leg of her Adele live tour, she collected US$13,000 for the charity. Awards and Achievements At the 51st Annual Grammy Awards in 2009, Adele won awards in the categories of Best New Artist and Best Female Pop Vocal Performance. She was also nominated in the categories of Record of the Year and Song of the Year. That same year, Adele was also nominated for three Brit Awards in the categories of Best British Female, Best British Single and Best British Breakthrough Act. Then British Prime Minister Gordon Brown sent a thank you letter to Adele that stated with the troubles that the country's in financially, you're a light at the end of the tunnel. With 21 non-consecutive weeks at number one in the US, Adele broke the record for the longest number one album by a woman in Billboard history beating the record formerly held by Whitney Houston's soundtrack The Bodyguard 21 spent its 23rd week at number one in March 2012, making it the longest-running album at number one since 1985, and it became the fourth best-selling album of the past ten years in the US. The best-selling album in the UK of the 21st century, 21 is also the fourth best-selling album in the UK of all time while 25 is currently ranked 26th all-time. Both 21 and 25 have been certified diamond by the Recording Industry Association of America, RIAA. In February 2012, Adele was listed at number 5 on VH1's 100 Greatest Women in Music. In April 2012, 
American magazine Time named Adele one of the 100 most influential people in the world. People named her one of 2012 most beautiful at every age. On April 30, 2012, a tribute to Adele was held at New York City's L.E. Poisson Rouge called Broadway Sings Adele, starring various Broadway actors such as Matt Doyle. In July 2012, Adele was listed at number 6 in Forbes list of the world's highest paid celebrities under the age of 30, having earned pound 23 and nbsp million between May 2011 and May 2012. On the week ending March 3, 2012, Adele became the first solo female artist to have three singles in the top 10 of the Billboard Hot 100 at the same time, and the first female artist to have two albums in the top five of the Billboard 200 and two singles in the top five of the Billboard Hot 100 simultaneously. Adele topped the 2012 Sunday Times Rich List of Musicians in the UK under 30 and made the top 10 of Billboard magazine's top 40 money makers. Billboard also announced the same day that Adele's Rolling in the Deep is the biggest crossover hit of the past 25 years, topping pop, adult pop, and adult contemporary charts and that Adele is one of four female artists to have an album chart at number one for more than 13 weeks, the other three artists being Judy Garland, Carole King, and Whitney Houston. On March 6, 21 reached 30 non-consecutive weeks at number one on the Australian ARIA chart making it the longest-running number one album in Australia in the 21st century, and the second longest-running number one ever. At the 2012 Ivor Novello Awards in May, Adele was named Songwriter of the Year, and Rolling in the Deep won the award for Most Performed Work of 2011. At the 2012 BMI Awards held in London in October, Adele won Song of the Year, for Rolling in the Deep in recognition of the song being the most played on U.S. television and radio in 2011. In 2013, Adele won the Academy Award for Best Original Song for the James Bond theme Skyfall. This is the first James Bond song to win and only the fifth to be nominated, after For Your Eyes Only, 1981, Nobody Does It Better, 1977, Live and Let Die, 1973, and The Look of Love. 1967. Skyfall won the Brit Award for Best British Single at the 2013 Brit Awards. In June 2013, Adele was appointed a MBE in the Queen's Birthday Honours List for Services to Music, and she received the award from Prince Charles at Buckingham Palace on December 19, 2013. In February 2013, she was assessed as one of the 100 most powerful women in the United Kingdom by Woman's Hour on BBC Radio 4. In April 2016, Adele appeared for the second time on the Time 100 list of most influential people. In 2014, Adele was already being regarded as a British cultural icon, with young adults from abroad naming her among a group of people that they most associated with UK culture, which included William Shakespeare. Queen Elizabeth II, David Beckham, J.K. Rowling, The Beatles, Charlie Chaplin, and Elton John.